Hello, this is Richard Hobbs. A meet. Uh, we're continuing from other videos. Uh, hopefully this is going to end up on YouTube. Now this is, according to the sheet that came with it, if I know where it is, I don't even know if I will. This is beef stroganoff or beef stew. The problem with this is as follows. Um, if you want to eat meat in the United States, you have to, you can, let me restate it, put it another way. It is impossible to grow healthy meat from grazed animals in the United States. You can grow it here, but it won't be the way God intends it to be. Uh, these animals have to be raised in the equator or the tropics. Uh, generally, uh, in between uh, where it's hot, a lot of sun constantly, often going down into the grass. Uh, a cow or a bull or, an, or, or a lamb, any grazing animal has to eat rapidly growing green grass or grass that's growing in the ground, not hay. Hay is not green grass. You go to the uh, fancy stores in the United States and they'll charge you a lot of money for grass-fed meats. But they don't know better, or you don't know better. You don't, grass-fed meat isn't any better than uh, ungrass-fed meat. Because in the United States, half the year, most of the United States, there's no grass. So they feed them hay. They feed them hay because they think that's grass. But it isn't necessarily green, and it isn't going to have in it what they need for them to be healthy for you to eat them. The, green, the, the sunlight goes into the grass and grows the grass and puts vitamins in it, maybe like vitamin D. I don't won't say for certain. And the animal eats the grass, and the animal converts it into meat and, you, and fat, and you eat the meat and the fat. If the animal's growing in the equator or very hot climates, where there's a lot of sun, then it's possible the meat you're eating will actually be um, healthy for you. And the fat in these meats might have vitamins and nutrients in them that it doesn't have in a animal that's been fed corn, which most American animals are fed grass to a point and then for three to six months or well one to three or four months they feed them corn silage very sweet 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 corn based food which poisons the animal that's why the meat t seems tender in the united states that you buy uh, because it's the the animal's dying while it's on the hoof it's still living it's dying the meat is dissolving inside of the animal in a way that when you get it it's uh, you it's the, the animals would drop dead if they didn't kill them quick enough the ones that we process here now uh, i buy my meat in in new york area from shoprite only because it's the only place i know where to get it I buy a brand called Nature's Reserve. Now, I could be wrong because this information could have changed, but years, a few years back, I investigated it, and the Nature's Reserve brand, I can only get beef or lamb here. It comes from Australia, and they get the animals from elsewhere. They bring them to Australia. They set them out as calves on the uh, plains there, and... Four years later, they harvest them. You're going to put it on there. Thank you very much. And, uh, Do you have anything you're giving not me? Not right now, just yet. I'm on the phone, please. Okay. Thank you. Please close the door. Yes, I will. Thank you. Um, so what happens is um, this meat that I eat comes from Australia because it's growing in the hot climate. If I eat that meat while I'm in this nursing home, that the wounds I have... I know this. I've done it. I'm not lying. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not crazy. My f body will heal, and I can see it healing. I can sense it healing. I can feel it healing. If I eat that meat and I don't eat phytic acid, anything with phytic acid, if I don't put them together in the same time in my body, my body takes the meat from Australia and it turns it into something that can heal my body. Now, it's also true that I do follow very, very closely, but not exactly, what's called the Weston A. Price Foundation Diet. You can look that up on the Internet. You should follow it. 
I don't follow it completely because I follow a religious diet that very closely meets that, but it has other things in it that they don't have. It doesn't agree in everything they say, but most of it. But you would be much better off eating that diet than the standard American diet, that's S-A-D for sad. The standard American diet can only do one thing for you, and that's cause you to die gradually, slowly, for things that you wouldn't die from if you weren't eating the American food the way it's offered to you. Now, your immune system is made up of chemicals, and the chemicals are made from green, leafy, the chemicals are found in green and brightly colored of various colors of leafy vegetables. And that's what you need to eat. If you eat those things, a pound of them a day, half a pound a day, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of them a day, your body's going to have the chemicals it needs to heal itself, to repair itself, to make itself um, so that it... Um, can heal itself and cope with stress. And if you have stress, uh, a lot of stress, you're not going to heal. You'll, you'll get sick. And if you're sick, you're gonna, that causes stress. The immune system, the chemicals in the immune system first cope with stress. Then they uh, re replace, they repair broken cells, damaged cells. Then they try to prevent more damage. And then they replace dead cells but if you don't have enough chemicals and you run out you're not going to realize it but it's not doing what it could do if you had more of those chemicals you don't want to eat tomatoes peppers potatoes and eggplant if you you shouldn't eat them at least for six months and see whether your arthritis is better whether you're healthier because it may be true i can't say for certain it is but it may be true that they come from the um, plant called deadly nightshade which is a poisonous plant they've been cultivated so you can tolerate them but they may uh, it may be true that they affect um, people and cause them to have worse arthritis than they might have otherwise or to have arthritis when they wouldn't have it and if that's true it's probably also true that they are affecting your immune system in a bad way now I don't want to eat this meat I want to eat my meat from the um, from the shop right, but I went and bought the meat there from the nursing home. I took the accessoride, bought it, put it in the refrigerator freezer here so I could cook it and eat it, which I know how to do. And they they threw it out. They brought it to me. Uh, I put I, I I was trying my best to eat what I need to eat to be healthy by going out of the nursing home and buying it at the store and bringing it here and putting it in their refrigerator that they allowed me to and cook uh, eating it. I would eat a pound, uh, I would eat a bag or two of the uh, vegetables that they sell now in the stores, pre-washed pre and all. But they're not letting me go there anymore to do that. They're not letting me store it in the refrigerator. They don't want me to get better. They want me to die. They give me a meal full of sodium, loads and loads of sodium, and no potassium, very little potassium. And I need either no sodium and a little potassium, or if I have sodium, I need a lot of potassium. You can't get potassium from a banana very well. If you want to eat a banana for potassium, uh, make sure you scrape the white part of the skin off and chop it up and mix it in with the banana, because probably more potassium in that than there is in the banana. But you know, banana is not a fruit. It's not. Banana is a grain. It's a seed for a grass plant. A, a banana tree is not a tree. It's a piece of wheat it's a piece of grain that grows huge and every banana on it is a seed for that grass and you know when you grow a banana tree that plant when you take the bananas off it dies and it only lasts one time but so who knows how much phytic acid is a banana in a banana it's a seed there's all these things there's a whole lot more to it than they're telling you than they know and that you know and but if you want to be healthy Pay attention, and if you would like to increase your wealth and improve society, look at this sheet and these information that's attached and get in touch with us. Let us help you and you help us. Because if we don't, if we as human beings don't get together and change where our meat comes from and where our food comes from and how we eat it, we're all going to be under this uh, false 
religion, that is the religion of America, which is probably medicine, and the medicine people don't even follow biology. They pay no attention to biology. If they had any, I, we could we could take them into any courtroom and show a biology book to a jury and a judge and make them read that you have to have two portions of sodium, you have to have 47 portions of potassium. If you don't, you will have high blood pressure because the potassium sodium pump and you will be pumping potassium and sodium back and forth in every cell all day long and that eventually will develop blood, high blood pressure and there's other things from that. And even if that's not true, that's what we need. And instead we get 400, 4, 40 units of sodium and two of potassium. And that's what we believe. That's our religion and we hope that it's helping you. Goodbye. Thank you. See you again.